Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia. Today I wanted to talk about how you can help someone through a flashback. So you can help someone through a flashback by being there for them. The best advice is to find out beforehand what you can and what you can't do. What I mean by that is whether you can touch them or not or whether you can use positive triggers or not. Find out what's best for you to do if you can. You can ask by just saying, hey, if you're, if you're going through a flashback, how can I help you? Or hey, if you're struggling, how can I help you? And a lot of the time they'll see that as you helping them. So the first bit of advice is make sure they're in a safe environment. I'm not out in the middle of a street. I've dissociated before in the middle of a street and I had security pick me up and move me out the middle of the road. That's back when I lived in Wembley. Which by the way, like, if you're ever with me and I have a flashback or I dissociate, do not touch me. I'm one of these those people who don't like being touched. So the first way you can help someone is make sure that they're in a safe environment. Whether that's a restaurant, a hotel room, a side street, a bathroom somewhere safe. The next bit of advice that I have is if you have permission to use a positive trigger use it and that can be a song, a touch, a scent. For me I always carry lavender oil on me because lavender oil is my godsend. The one scent that can bring me out of a flashback, out of a dissociative episode. Lavender is my saviour. The next one that I've got is if they're hurting themselves, like say if they're scratching at their arm, try and get your hand underneath their hand just to stop them hurting themselves. But again, I only do that if you have permission to touch. A great way of getting someone out of a flashback is talking to them and saying, you know, the date, do you know your name, do you know where we are, do you know who I am. Just asking these questions can be really beneficial for a person. The next bit of advice I have is, see it depends what kind of flashback someone's having. But you can have some flashbacks where you're aware of your surroundings. You can have some flashbacks where you're aware of what what's going on. You can have some flashbacks where you can feel certain things. You can have some flashbacks where you can't feel or see anything. There are so many different types of flashback. And the next bit of advice that I have is again talking to them and saying this, this is just a flashback it's not real it's not happening right now you survived it this, this is just a flashback it'll go away just to reassure that they're safe you can help someone through a flashback by getting a wet flannel and putting it around their neck that's something that helps me another thing you can do is if you have permission to touch them is put their hand on the shoulder and be like it's okay it's just a flashback You'll be fine. <coughs> These are just a few things you can do to help someone through a flashback. This by no means is everything you can do. There's plenty more things you can do. But I thought this is a good starting point. And thank you for watching this video. And if you're new, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.